fasten your seatbelts, get the oxygen tanks ready, hold on to yourselves. Finland with a chance to win. Trailing by two, one point. Well, here we go. Well, there's a foul. Unsportsmanlike, are you serious? I cannot believe it. Let's have a look at the replay. I think he loses his balance there. That's what it, what's happened. Well, him and the Adson have locked arms. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if they keep it. I'll be surprised if they don't downgrade it. Big, big moment here in the game. Huge twists and events. Let's see what decision is going to be made. Yep. Two free throws to the Susi Yangi, and they will get the ball back. Nice contest off the mark, Finland now. And that's going to be a foul going against George of Germany as he was just trying to slow down. Slow down the possible easy look and fast break transition option for Finland. And they know the rules better than I do. So we'll see what they decide with this call, if it's going to be upgraded. For sure it's a foul on George, number 13, but will it be upgraded to an unsportsmanlike foul? We try to bully his way. Another turnover. Only two people running with ice and as well. That's going to be. Well, they've upgraded. Yeah. Unsportsmanlike foul. Now you do see those given. And i tell you why it's been given. Because it's a jump in the air. It's out of control. It's reckless. It's dangerous. But clever play by Friedrichsen with the pump fake. So this will be big for Iceland. They'll go to the free throw line for two shots, and they're going to get the ball back. He couldn't do it this summer as he was injured from the Euro basket. And the foul has been called. Georgia one and us back. I don't think so, to be honest. He does go for the ball. His eyes are on the ball. He's got a hand to it. I would say it would be a little bit harsh to be upgraded to an unsport. Showing Voitman he can handle the ball and make plays as well. And a foul. And not called unsportsmanlike. Lindfist with the foul. He's initially tried to get the ball, but then the speed of Kramer taking him past him. The ball's gone, and he's made contact with his midriff, so to see how the referees are going to see this, they are usually very consistent and spot on. He's got the foul that he wanted. Is at the level of foul that he wanted. And here is a player that figures to be a big part of the future, Quinn Ellis. It's a teenager still with Bonferrato. Well, they've made a living throwing the ball up around the rim for Tumba. Weedle fouled. And Alexander Liebert to get the block and then to go over and make sure that Weedle knows it was nothing personal. Because he got him on the arm a little bit. That's why he wanted to do that. It would be the left arm watch. Well, they could call it. Okay, I'll just say it's 50 50. Yeah. Moratos. 12 points the difference, and look at him go! Moratos. Frustrated, he doesn't get the basket. And Kuritsa playing the basketball here. I mean, that's just grabbing his arm.
I'm fairly certain this is going to be two free throws and possession. Lopoulos calling the plays. Davida Vaz for three. Yes, he makes it. Of course he does. And again, the foul with 6.7 seconds left against any other team. This game would be over. But you're talking about Serbia. They're not going away. And the Greeks just want to celebrate. They just want to go into the stands. Yadermas. With the Savlaki. Bring it out of the oven. It's ready to eat. I mean, I don't know. Utility brings it down. Now to Nunes. Goodmanson gone down. I think he took an elbow. No, he wasn't looking, was he? Goodmanson trying to hold on to him. Power. In, see if there's anything in this elbow. So I think there was, though. Goodmanson looking around, trying to find somebody, something. Can't. Oh, it's going to go against uh, Alberto Diaz. That is not an easy task. And Goodmanson called for the unsportsmanlike foul. Just trying to grab the ball. It's good here for the Greeks. Live and die by the perimeter. Shkeli bounce pass. Chavaz goes up. Doesn't get the ab one. Right there. Well, does Costas got Costas Gontikis. It's possible. It's very possible. We will see that the officials will have a decision to make. Kisling rocking, losing it. That's going to be an unsportsmanlike. Perry trying to get away and a compound error. The turnover is going to turn into two points and possession for the grab on the fast break. You can see Perry's away. No play on the ball. Off the screen, has a step into the lane, kicks it. Anderson for three. Does it go? Tom with the rebound and he's going to take the foul. Oh, it's an offensive. Well, Tom grabbed in the rebound. You could see he was trying to get fouled for a right on top of it. Yeah, this is going to be the angle we watch. Uh, we want right here. There's contact. Tom, yeah, just throws the elbow right into the face. There isn't contact there. He's playing for the foul. Absolutely the right call. Great work from the official. Uh, Tom tried to play act and he was caught. Cool. He's going to knock it down. Weedle picks it up more in hope than in anything else, throws it away. Great man might want to take a timeout here. They're going to call that unsportsmanlike. Here you go. And Coach Studa for Great Britain is right. The big margin really doesn't do justice to the game. So oh boy, that was a little too much dribbling for Oz Blizer. So, uh, Maccabi Tel Aviv veteran. Fire it up. He will get shots here. Does on the clock, teammate fires it up. This is everything. Ansar's come back in. He's 
start to transition. And so again, throws it up. That's the unsportsmanlike. One shot. Action. Perhaps for Sweden. So two free throws. With the charge. And he's not looking at the man who's gone past him. It's just a flailing arm. Turnover, a chance to run. The zone's just giving him a different feel. Whistle on the plate. Personal. <laughs> Want to end this half closer than eight. Happened to start running offense so far out. We've got a unsportsmanlike foul, I think, away from the ball. Yannick Kra is loses and then commits the foul and what looked like a promising comeback has just stumbled here and that is blocked and then there's a foul Heron stepped out there wasn't space really for Kra to take the shot and he paid the price with the foul after he lost possession Offensive rebound, but they've got full court pressure here on the inbounds from Georgia. And there's a foul, a big collision. And he's, put, he's got hold of him round the shoulder initially. Shangalia goes round. And that is not, a, that's just not a legitimate play. And it's a foul off the ball as well. And he's almost got him round the neck.